Well, I think it's not, there is nothing that's uh, surprising there because given the fact that uh, what's been probed was money spent under the when PD was under control for that government. If, for instance, now we are probing the, the way all the states spend their security votes, possibly we're saying, okay, a piece of the federal government as at that time, a piece of the of the states. And uh, in any case, because what I've seen clearly about, out of this is that the so some of the people who have been too many have been to it's about the elections. And it was kind of maybe uh, that was the way people funded his own elections. The APC was funded from his own governors who are not in Abuja, but they are in charge now. So but I think it's a good precedent. So uh, when APC leaves now, maybe another party person comes, you also prove the choice of their campaign funds because you cannot say that. PDP spent stones, money, and APC was spending stones in 2015. They both spent money. In fact, when they had a dinner for Amici, the governor of uh, uh, Cardinal State, L5, said it that when they ran short of money, uh, Amici brought most of the money they spent for their election campaigns. But what's on stage now is the fact that the, the PDP was driving the government. This time around the PDP, APC is probing it. So I think there is nothing unusual about it, let them probe it. The only thing was object to is the attempt to deny people their fundamental rights. If the Congress was a bill, give him bail. It's not the place of the executive. But they are saying that uh, they are being picked for other offenses, not the one uh, for which they are granted bail. Then they should tell us. They should tell us those offenses. If you know that those offenses are unbailable, Nigerians will know. I know our clearance are very clear. There are offenses to strike before which are bailable. There are ones that are not bailable. If they are committed on bailable offense, let us know. But what's before us at the moment is that they've been charged for offenses that are bailable and courts have granted them bail and nobody should deny them that bail. But as far as the fact question of probable corruption is concerned, it's important we continue to do this. But what we should address at the end of the day is the question of the cost of elections in Nigeria. I mean, at times I shudder, I laugh when I see idealists like Uchomi and those who want to be president of Nigeria. It's not possible. We have the money involved. First, to campaign with your party to get the ticket for primaries, the money you spend for campaigns, the money you spend on election day. There is no political party in Nigeria today, including APC, that can open their books that this is the money that we spend for elections, this is where, where, where they came from. No, but no party. And that's what you should be addressing. For instance, I want to prep, if I want to, if, if Nigeria is part of the parliamentary system of government, if I want to promise out Nigeria, several central government should not be my constituency. I should not go around the country for everybody. I should just concern my constituency. So, but for as long as this pro prohibited cost of election is there, you will continue to have people dipping their hands into government coffers to take money to assess power. That's the basic thing. That's the most fundamental thing. So what I do now is okay, but the fundamental thing is the cost of elections in Nigeria. And so, and if you don't have, uh, attack all those things, I mean, just say we have some good stores of money, it's like fighting some corrupt people while keeping the architecture of corruption. By the time this government goes, we see what's come out of it. Come out of yes, uh, Only a few days ago, it was learned that uh, some money passed also to some uh, leaders in Yoruba land, like uh, Chivolu Falai. And that, uh, what's your reaction to that? Uh, well, I've not. What's it? Yes. Uh, 100 million naira. Uh, to SDP, to his party. If, uh, if, if other people across the country are campaigning for elections, and they are spending money. You don't expect those who are campaigning in to spend stones. It is the person that collected, they collected money from that can ask them that you need, you need, you need to deliver what they have to do to, to, from their party. If the person that gave them money, if you got the money from the wrong source, it's not the one that's given that has to account for that. But the truth of the matter is that when you see the patterns of this spending, it was clear that this money was spent on elections and all parties spend money on elections. So you cannot criminalize some people. Why should you? So for me, for me to take all these things that let the APC publish their own party accounts, what they spend for elections, the sources, all these that I can give it to us. And then I begin to, push, to, to say everybody that has, all those who took money for elections, what, we are criminalizing it. And in any case, if you trace it to corrupt funds, there's nothing wrong in proving, but you cannot criminalize election spending. It's not a criminal offense for people who want to go and cast votes. 
when they want to call people out, a political party, for instance, the people have mentioned Yuba Land now, they mention Ladoja, who is the leader of a core party, they mention Falai, who is the leader of SDP. These are political parties across Nigeria. But if they, if, if this moment, if they say this money was taken in their private pockets, it's a different thing. But if they said they, 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 their party are coping with the, with the party, and the party gave money to capital of votes, of course, there is no party. APC does not spend stones. You can also vote. Uh, there was crisis within the Afeni Ferry group during the election. Would you say there was a link between the funds going around? Which and ones? The Which ones? Funds going around to Yoruba land. Which ones? Uh, from Which ones? Which ones? For example, the hundred million are going to Accord Party, going to SDP, uh, going, going to Yoruba. It's Afeni Ferry Accord Party. Okay. It's Afeni Ferry SDP. So what happened? In what is this? Exactly? Nothing. We took position to support Jonathan based on the national conference report. And if you hold that elections tomorrow, if there's Jonathan here, if there's a Buari here, if Jonathan say I'm I'm the social in Nigeria, after we will support him. If if Buari say I'm not a social in Nigeria, we will vote for him. In 2007, after the first support for Lai, for support Buari, when Buari said was going to to to, to, to the social in Nigeria. So on record, how much did you to them to, to Afenferi? In 2015 Jonathan said I'm the one doing it, Buari, the party Buari the party they don't believe in it. I will charge you no change is going to come to Nigeria this structure, this structure. Where are you now? How many states? How many states? 26 states now cannot pay salaries. Just say, just, by March next year, let's continue this way. Just, just don't grant your heart. That's what I'm telling you. So you were, you were a spokesperson to uh, General Momodu Buhari when you contested the previous time before now. Yeah. Uh, so what's your relationship like now? I've not, I've, 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 many people, people don't understand all these issues. Uh, General Buhari, throughout the time I was with him, up to now, has not found I have not found him in any way. I have not found him in any way. Just that in 2015, the issues I'm passionate about, his party said they're not for it. And that's my passion. And I've explained it over and over again. So I have no issue with Jerry Buhari at all. But my passion, my issue in Nigeria is that Nigeria must restructure. And if you don't do it, it's a waste of time. No change is going to come in this country. And then in the four years, let's not restructure. Let's change that's coming. Nowhere.